back out here. We're going to show this legend some more. And I see another big difference here. And I'll show people. I don't think I was seeing things. Okay, this test here is going to be a nickel, and a U.S. nickel, and a dime. And you're going to see me sweep these like that. And then you're going to see me sweep like that with a dime underneath. Okay. I'll show you the differences here. Now, generally what this test here will show, what I found, but now maybe I'm, you know, I'm not using this legend a lot in the modern trash, but generally when you sweep this target with a dime on top, it'll read higher. And then when you invert, put the nickel on top, it'll read lower. Okay. And when you switch modes on a machine, Whichever modes are given the highest reading VDI-wise, ID-wise, is generally your better use of that machine. Whatever you see, you know, whatever detect mode you see it doing in, that's going to be your better modern trash setup, okay? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the dime on the top. All right, and I'll just go ahead and fire up this legend first, but we're going to look at a few other detectors here. No tricks, boys. 11 inch calls on everything you see in this video. One point zero nine is the version, okay? Part one, multi one first. Okay. And I've got this thing set up. Speed five. Iron filters at four, stability settings at four, okay, 60 tones. <laughs> 29 for the ID, okay, now I'm going to invert these. So I get 28. M2 with a nickel on top, 28. Now the dime is back on top. 29, okay. M3, dime on top, 29. Nickel is on top. 28, okay? Now, go down here and look at 4 kilohertz. Nickel on top. Ooh, look at that. That's almost a dime ID. Looks like a dime ID, okay? And then the dime is on top. 4 kilohertz. 45. So we'll turn this one off. Okay. We'll pick up the old Equinox. Part one. Okay. Speed six. F two is at four. Really matter in this test, really, okay? Okay, the dime is on top in part one. So I've got an 18, okay? And that dime, you know, that dime on this machine, read 25. So we've got 18 with a dime on top. Now the nickel is on top. So I get a 17. Now I'm going to part two. Part two, the nickel is on top. So I'm getting a nickel ID. Look at that, 13 with a dime under it. Now the dime is on top. Okay. So part two on this machine is definitely reacting different than that machine is in the park mode using all of the M1, M2, and M3. Okay. Now... We'll turn the 
E-Track on. This is a good modern trash hunting detector. All right. The dam is on top. So I've got 38 for a conductive number, which is lower than a dime really raised. Now the nickel is on top. So I get a 36. Okay. So that's a difference there that's noted. And I'll go ahead... Just for gee whiz, let's turn this legend back on since I'm out here and got this camera running. Okay, I'm in power. Well, I'm going to leave it in power one. This is M1, nickel on top. 28. Okay. 28 and that nickel solo there reads 26. So nickel on top and I gain two points. I, I gain two points of ID by the dime being on the bottom there. Okay, now dime solo is 45. Dime on top. So I lost, what, 16? Am I math right? 16 for ID. But anyway, okay, so dime on top in part one, M1. She's reading 29. Now I'm going to go over here to field, M1. See what we get. I get the same ID, M2. So I get 29 in it, too, in M2. And M2 in part one. So I get the same ID. And just for gee whiz, that's a prospecting mode. Multi-frequency. Dime on top. 29. Nickel on top. I only lose a point compared to the dime on top. Hope you enjoyed the video.